Welcome to our tutorial on the Thicken tool. Now we're going to convert our surface body into a solid. We select Insert, Boss slash Base, and Thicken. Surface to Thicken. Select this surface. Of course, we only have one surface here. Next, our control area gives three thickness options. We can thicken side one. We can thicken both sides or we can thicken side 2. I'm going to select thicken side 1. Let's enter a 1 millimeter value. Hit the tab key and click OK. And here is our solid. Now what if I want to apply a different thickness to some of this solid? Let's take a minute to see how we can do this. First, let's right click and delete this thicken feature. Click OK, yes. Now let's suppress Fillet 2. Next we'll edit Surface Knit 1. Now I'm going to delete Fillet 1. That means that the Knit feature is only going to be applied to these four selected surfaces. Let's click OK. OK, let's apply the Thicken tool again. Insert, Boss Base, Thicken. We'll select this surface here. We're going to choose side 1. Enter a value of 2 millimeters. Click OK. And let's apply the Thicken tool again. Insert, Boss Base, Thicken. Let's select this surface. Now we will select side 2. And we're going to enter a value of 4 millimeters for our thickness. Down below here we've got a checkbox called Merge Result. Let's click OK, leave that checked. Watch what happens. I get an error message. Rebuild errors. The surface could not be thickened. Basically, what's happened? I had a zero thickness geometry between these two solids. That's because I created these solids using options related to the outside surface. So there's a gap between these two solids. If I unselect the Merge Results checkbox in this control area, then I'm able to create the solid. Now I've got two separate solids. OK, let's delete this Thicken feature. Right click, delete, yes. And I'm going to edit this Thicken feature. Instead of the thickness outside, I'm going to select Side 2. That's my inside. We OK? Now we insert, boss base, and thicken. Now let's select our second surface. Again, thicken side 2, or that's the inside in this case. All right, let's select merge result and let's view our results. Now it works. Now let's apply a fillet. Let's enter a radius value of 4 millimeters. Click Tab and OK. And for the outside fillet, let's enter a value of 4 millimeters as well and click OK. And here we are, our finished solid. This concludes our tutorial on the Thicken tool.